the pushing, the walking, the riding, the waiting, the exhaustion. But Gabriela Hernandez says she has no choice. This is what she must do to reach this point. Off in the distance, behind a tall fence, for the first time, she's getting a glimpse of the United States of America. She says it just doesn't seem real that she's that close, given all that they have struggled through to, to get here. We met Hernandez in Puebla, Mexico. On live TV, early in her journey with a large group of Central American migrants making their way north, she had just gotten off the bus and she was part of a group that had become the latest target of President Trump. He called them dangerous. Asking if they're dangerous. No, un niño de esta edad que si el mío va bien va con neumonía. He says a child of this age cannot be dangerous. We've tracked her journey as the pregnant mother of two boards more than half a dozen buses for road trips totaling more than 50 hours. We've watched her wipe away her own tears after realizing her children would sit on mounds of scrap metal on a freight train with little to no money or food. She has tried to protect them in search of a better life. A month ago, she joined more than a thousand migrants on Mexico's southern border for an annual march north, a caravan calling attention to the plight of the migrant, including a number of people planning to seek asylum, a legal way to enter the U.S. under federal law. Trump has ordered Homeland Security not to let what he calls large caravans into the country. Attorney General Jeff Sessions has already said he will make sure enough U.S. attorneys and judges are in place at the border to rule on the cases of this caravan. About 130 of the migrants plan to turn themselves in to authorities in San Diego. Volunteer attorneys are helping the migrants who get the chance to plead their case. Hernandez says this is about survival. She says the gangs that control her neighborhood in Honduras threaten to kill her six-year-old son. Having no faith in any sort of government protection in her own country, she fled. Mexico granted many in the caravan temporary permission to be in the country. Some have opted to seek asylum in Mexico, avoiding any possibility of ever dealing with Trump. Hernandez knows in the U.S., detention is likely, deportation a possibility. Her concern now, her family. She worries she could be separated from her children while in the custody of U.S. immigration officials. Homeland Security insists children are only separated to protect the child or, if there's any doubt, the adult is the child's legal guardian. But what will happen under the watchful eye of the Trump administration?